Uh, the NTSB is launching a full go team to begin our investigation of what certainly appears to be multiple explosions involving natural gas pipeline in the Merrimack Valley area of Massachusetts. Uh, before I proceed, we certainly recognize that this is indeed a tragedy. It's affecting uh, uh, hundreds, if not thousands of people. And we certainly would like to offer our sincerest uh, condolences, our thoughts and prayers to all of those who are affected by this, by this tragedy. So why is the NTSB investigating this? Uh, oftentimes when people think of the NTSB, they think of us as investigating rail accidents or aviation accidents or some marine accidents or even some highway accidents. And yes, we certainly do those, but pipeline is within our jurisdiction as well. And people question, why pipeline? Well, in fact, when you think about it, pipeline is a mode of transportation. We transport product a pipeline just as we may put crude oil or something on a on a tanker truck and transport it on the highway or in a tank car on our nation's rail system so pipeline is in fact a mode of transportation just like other modes of transportation uh, the truth of the matter is is we really don't have any factual information at this point to confirm we need to get on scene, get on site, and start getting the lay, the lay of the land before we can actually confirm what's being reported out there. Uh, as far as our investigative processes are concerned, uh, the investigator will be uh, led by Roger Evans, who is an investigator in charge with the NTSB's Office of Pipeline Safety, Pipeline Investigations. And Jim Southworth will be assisting as well, as assistant investigator in charge. They both have years and years of experience uh, with investigating accidents such as this. Our investigator, uh, investigators in charge are being assisted by a multidisciplinary team, both on scene and back here in Washington at our headquarters and our laboratories. We'll be flying out uh, shortly by the time we get up to um, Massachusetts, get on scene. It will be around noon. Our first order of business will be to go and meet with the incident commander and just get the lay of the land, find out what's going on. Putting, we will begin putting together our investigative teams and establishing our investigative protocols. Certainly things that we will be looking at will be the design of the pipeline system, any maintenance or upgrades that may have been done or be, are in the process of being done on the pipeline, the integrity management system of the pipeline operator, Columbia Gas, We'll look at the emergency response. We'll look at the system safety program of the pipeline operator. So again, this will be a multidisciplinary investigation. We'll be looking at a number of things. Investigations such as this are very thorough. They're very detailed. They take time. We won't have, we might have information over the next few days, but we're certainly not going to be analyzing information. It will take a long time to be very thorough and deliberate about it. While we're on scene, our main goal is to document the factual information that we can obtain. There will be various organizations, both state, state, local, and federal organizations that will be involved in this investigation. So let me be very clear about our, what our role will be. The NTSB's role is to conduct an accident investigation. We're there to investigate the accident to determine what happened 
so that we can keep it from happening again. And I want to be very clear about this. We are not the emergency responders. We're not the incident commander. We will not be the organization to tell people when they can return to their homes. Those questions will be determined by other organizations. Our mission is to find out what happened so that we can learn from it and keep it from happening again. We're conducting a safety investigation. We're not there to point fingers, to lay blame, to assign fault. We're here to conduct a safety investigation. I would certainly anticipate holding press briefings while we are on scene to update you with the latest information that we have. I'm not sure at this point when that will be. We've got to get up there and start sorting through information, but we will be. Uh, I would certainly anticipate press briefings while we, while we are there. For the latest information, uh, I would encourage you to follow us. Our Twitter handle is at NTSB underscore newsroom. Or you can follow us on our website, www.ntsb.gov. In just a moment, I will be taking questions. Before I do that, when I do call for questions, if you'd kindly raise your hand. When I, when I recognize you, please uh, state your name and your affiliation. I'm waiting for some of this noise to clear out, but I'll be glad to take questions right now. We'll begin right here. Official says that these explosions resulted in about 60 to 80 fires, affecting thousands of households. When's the last time you saw a gas accident that had affected so many people? Yeah, that's a great question. When was the last time that we saw uh, an, a gas pipeline explosion that would have affected so many people as this one has? In 2010, September of 2010, we uh, we investigated the the uh, tragic uh, natural gas pipeline explosion in San Bruno, California. That claimed um, uh, multiple lives and destroyed uh, over 35 houses and con conducted and, and uh, put damage on many, many other uh, houses. So we certainly have experience with this scale, this magnitude. The facts and circumstances and conditions may be different, but we have uh, experience with investigating something of this magnitude. Yes, ma'am. So a lot of noise here, but uh, uh, what what towns will we go to first? Have we been in contact with uh, with with anybody? And so we've certainly uh, been in contact with uh, with local authorities there. As far as what towns we will begin going to first, I think our first order of business will be to go to the uh, meet up with the incident commander and find out uh, what we can there. But yes, we have been in contact with the local officials um, in Massachusetts to, um, to find out as much as we, we can. As obviously, the scope of this, uh, it ranges from at least three towns, so it will be very involved. Other questions? Okay, we have an investigation to go to. We're going to head out right now. But I want to thank you for being here, and please follow us. We will keep you updated. It's the best that we can. Thank you very much.